Today, I am going to explain an Australian found footage survival horror, Open Water 3, released in the year 2017. The movie is about a trio of three friends who are very eager to experience cage diving, but it appears to be a horrible experience for them, costing them their lives. But before we begin to tell you the story, please subscribe to our channel to watch more recaps and stay updated with our new releases. Also, please be aware of the spoilers. The movie opens, and we see a diver finds a camera. The movie proceeds to a news reporter informing us about a cage diving boat capsized by a freak wave, turning a fun tour into a horrible memory for its passengers. We're informed that rescuers and police are still working on finding the missing passengers, and the police officer assures that they will try their best to find the missing people alive. The reporter then adds that three American friends were among the missing people, Josh, Jeff, and Megan. After a week, we see a diver, Mark, with his friends, who claims to have been diving in Australia for 10 years. When Mark dives down, he finds a camera, and upon checking, he learns that the SD card is still intact. When he inserts the card into the computer, he learns that the camera belongs to three friends from America. The scene shifts to Jeff and Josh, living in California, who are testing the new camera they have bought for cage diving, and they are both very much excited about their adventure of cage diving. They use the camera in the bathtub and find it perfect for their task when Jeff's girlfriend, Megan, suddenly arrives. Jeff and Josh inform her that they will participate in a reality show, so they start filming a short introductory video to convince the judges why they must be allowed to participate. They start visiting and having fun in their city, and after a few days, they leave for Australia, where Jeff's cousin, Greg, is supposed to welcome them. Before their arrival, Jeff's mother gets sad as Jeff has a heart condition and asks Josh to take care of him. On the other hand, we see Greg, who informs us that he was very excited to welcome them. When they arrive in Australia, they are welcomed by Greg, who meets them warmly as they have never been separated. Greg takes them and informs us as they are in Australia. He takes them to show them a yacht and makes them meet his father, Pablo. After that, they go on a short trip and have fun together. The next day, when they go out on their boat, Megan jumps into the water but gets surrounded by the giant sharks, and her friends guide her to the boat. Then they watch the sharks from very nearby. Later that night, Greg arranges a party for his cousins, and they have fun together while Jeff and Megan thank him for everything he has done for them. After that, Jeff returns to his room and informs the judges that he wishes to propose to Megan on their show and requests their favor to do this. Suddenly, Megan arrives, and Jeff hides the camera to find out what is wrong with her. Megan informs him that she wants a break, and when Jeff leaves after receiving a call from his mother, Josh enters the room, and we learn that Megan has an affair with Josh too. When asked, Josh acknowledges that Megan is sad after seeing him with another girl, and Josh tells her that he feels the same way when she is with Jeff. He comforts her and leaves before Jeff may catch them. The following day, they leave for Adelaide to their cage diving destination and get a room in a hotel. On the day of cage diving, the trio signs their lives and they are guided about what precautions they must consider while cage diving. After that, they watch a video presentation displaying what they must do and what must be avoided in case of a shark attack. In the following scene, they are seen in their boat, and we see a woman who gets a panic attack after seeing the sharks from nearby. Megan, Jeff, and Josh then get ready for cage diving and enter the cage. The trio has fun inside the cage, and suddenly a shark bumps into the cage, after which they start making fun of Josh, who gets scared. When they are done with diving, and as they step out, they find a freak wave hitting the boat. Everyone falls out of the boat. After a while, the trio finds each other and gets together. They find a woman holding her husband, who has been injured brutally and is bleeding badly. As the woman approaches the trio, they ask her to get away from him as he is bleeding a lot. The woman does not listen to them, and suddenly a shark attacks and kills her. They all get scared, and another man starts heading toward them after a while. But before the man approaches them, he also gets killed by sharks. Megan starts feeling pain in her leg, and upon checking, Jeff finds that she has been injured, but he lies to her and says she has a minor cut. After that, they spot a boat passing by, and when Jeff starts yelling for help, Josh stops him and is about to leave to approach the boat, but Megan stops him, stating that if they want to get through this, 
they would have to stay together. Meanwhile, the rescue teams save people while the trio keeps waiting for their turn and motivates each other to stay together. Megan finds a bait next to her and panics, but they throw away the bait so they may not attract the sharks. They keep waiting for a while, and they find a life vest heading toward them, and Jeff rushes to pick it up. The trio gets relaxed after getting the vests, and to distract themselves from the fear of dying, Jeff suggests them to talk about what they are going to do after they get out of the water. Megan is worried, but Jeff asks her to be positive. Jeff starts feeling pain in his chest and lies on his back to ease himself. As time passes, the trio spots something floating on the water, and when Jeff heads to get it thinking it can be food in water, Megan tries to stop him. Jeff does not listen to her, and when he approaches the floating pack, a shark follows him and forces Jeff to return. Josh starts talking to the camera, and Jeff asks him to save the battery for later as they can use the night vision at night. Megan gets very cold, and the trio gets scared of clouds in the evening. After nine hours of capsizing, the trio senses another thing passing by, and this time Jeff approaches it without any fear. When he returns, the trio gets very excited after learning they found a lifeboat. Jeff opens the lifeboat, and they get relaxed after entering the boat. They find some water and food along with some flares and useful things. Megan launches the first flare, and they start waiting for the aid. After a while, they miss a helicopter that can be looking for them. Megan picks up the camera when Jeff and Josh fall asleep. She tells her parents and brother that she loves them all and confesses that she has made mistakes and is hurting both Josh and Jeff. She apologizes to them for doing this. Suddenly, she feels thrashing on the back, and upon checking, they find a shark hitting their boat. At the same time, they find a woman floating over a piece of wood, and Josh jumps into the water to rescue her. They get her inside the boat and find her in very critical condition. Megan panics after looking at the girl's condition, and she tries to use another flare while Josh stops her stating that they can save it for later. Megan insists, but Josh forces her not to do this when she accidentally launches the flare inside the boat, causing it to burn. The trio leaves the boat while the girl gets burned inside the boat. Megan is startled by the incident and loses her mind when Josh blames her for this. She gets furious and replies that he is responsible for this, as cage diving was his idea. Josh also gets happy and claims that Majin has been lying to herself and Jeff her whole life. Jeff listens to this and insists on explaining what he means. Josh has no other option and has to reveal that Megan has been cheating on him with Josh. Jeff gets shocked after hearing this and leaves them, stating that they must stay together and deserve each other. After Jeff leaves, Megan starts feeling something has been touching her legs. When Josh looks under the water using the camera with night vision, he finds a shark circling her. Jeff also returns after finding Megan in trouble, but the shark suddenly pulls her down and kills her. Jeff and Josh are left behind together. The following day, Jeff gets mad at his brother and tells him that he will put his video on the internet so that the world may know what he has done to him. Jeff starts humiliating him for his action, and Josh loses his mind. They start fighting, during which Jeff gets a heart attack and passes away while Josh tries to save him, but in vain. After a while, Josh has to let his brother go, and Jeff's body drowns in the water. Josh turns the camera into himself and tells his parents that he loves and misses them very much. He apologizes to his dead brother and waits for his turn to die. Josh finds a helicopter over his head and starts crying for help, but unfortunately, he gets pulled down by a shark. As Josh attempts to return to the surface, he gets attacked and killed while the camera settles down. After that, we see the trio's memories together, and the movie ends here. Overall, Open Water 3 is a great movie to watch with an amazing storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this, don't forget to subscribe as that's the only way we can keep making these fantastic recaps and like this video. Let us know in the comments section about your next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching.